What is the scariest geometry dash level? That is what we're gonna find out today. And if you think Lost Locked is the scariest level, then you're dead wrong. And yes, there are actually scary levels in Geometry Dash. And I'm gonna have three stages of scariness. Level 1, Horror Deem, but it's not actually that scary. Level 2, it is kinda disturbing. And level 3, it is actually scary. So let's get into it. TikTok was made in 1.9 and I don't think anyone will get scared playing this level unless if you were a 4 year old. Oh my god, a witch, that's scary. But really, there are no jump scares in this level except Slenderman. But not gonna lie, it looks really dope with the limited tools you have. Secrets of Hysteria is a sequel from TikTok and it does far better job making me feel unsettled. And there's literally no fucking way the ball just rolling around. But I'm stupid because this is an auto level. But the scariest part I will say is when she's hanging those children. But overall, it does a pretty good job as it is a 2.0 level. Not that scary thought. Phonotophobia is a level made in 2.1 and by the looks of it, it doesn't look that scary. But I really like the knives sticking out, same with the saws. And I like the hands coming out, same with the spiders. And I'm really impressed with the sink in this level, same with the team, because the team is correctly named by the name of the level, but that's what we're not here for. Lost Locked, a classic horror level. It was a remake from a Raptop's level, Deadlock. Not gonna lie, it is a pretty good idea making one of the Raptop levels spooky. For literally 4 year olds. But it has some pretty decent glitches. Oh my god, Deadlock is hunting me. Bro, how are you not tired yet? And why you want to hunt me down? I didn't even do anything to you. I think that's Raptop eyes looking at me. And for some reason, this level got nerfed a hell a lot. Just look in the comparison to the original one. And yeah, the annoying person came back. Why are you even smiling at me? And the last part is free. Timor is a fantastic extreme demon made by Colorbolt and Maxi25. And if you think why it's so fantastic, it's because of this. Well, when was the last time you saw an alien worm eat you? Well, anyways, the reason I really like this level is because of the song and the theme and the effects and everything. Like the horror, f like I don't know how to explain, but like the theme and every part is just amazing. It fits perfectly, even though the transitions overall, it's cool, but I don't think it's that scary compared to the ones we're gonna have later. <laughs> Kid Smoke is a very funky level, but uh, it is very weird, and I don't think it's that scary at all. The only thing I think is gonna be scary is if my ears are gonna be bleeding of this horrible song. That song is so annoying. The only reason I included uh, Kid Smoke is because it had blood in the level. I hate that guy dancing. Mr. Crazy Hands by Ectoplasm, amazing level, and I think this might be my favorite on the list. Not gonna lie, I really love the TV glitch going on, cause it syncs so well with the music. And why does the boss fight look like from the Russian experiment? Run little guy, run. And this is my favorite part when the Mr. Crazy Hands guy finds me. Also kinda hate when the eyes are looking at me. It will be the same feeling if a random stranger makes eye contact with me. Learn English, I don't understand anything you're saying. Oh no, the Russian experiment guy is back. Another reason why I like this level is because of the transitions. Overall, good level, but not scary at all. Oh boy. 
by Visteria, a sequel from The Secret of Visteria. And by the looks of it, you can already tell which one is better, in my opinion. I just want to say that it looks much more realistic when you have those animation moving and everything. And kids, don't poke your needle in your eye. And if that thing scared you, you should go to a mental hospital. Bruh. Bro, look at she dancing, she has the moves. And also this was based on a true story, I don't know. Killbot is a very flash level and basically you're downloading a Killbot virus. The only thing that I think is scary is the gameplay. But really, I'm serious, the gameplay is scary. Also, why is there an invisible block at the end? Layout.exe is a normal layout, right? Well, it used to, but then some kind of creator named by Kids Dev said, yeah, weird name. But anyways, the creator wanted to remake the entire level himself. He made it like horrific and glitchy, but the scary part is, he hacked the level and remade it how it is now. Sadly, I don't have the footage of the normal layout, but I'm pretty sure the normal layout was exact same without the horrific and the glitches. I don't know what the creator did, but the level kinda looks creepy because it wasn't like this before. And it said warning, so we don't know what is coming up, but we know it is coming. The layout is getting more broken and broken as you go. But not gonna lie, the hacker creator actually did a pretty good job remaking this level. Peaceful by Small and Xylanox. And there's a 99% guarantee that you have seen this level before. Because this is the most popular horror level in the game. It has literally 3 million views on the Vibrant's channel. But if you don't know this level, basically it's like a kid's play show and then it gets cursed and horrific as you go. And it is actually kind of disturbing. Just imagine finding this in the recent tab. And this level looks so disturbing because it has strobophobia. And yeah, the baby show is over. Just kidding, they're just dancing. And also, this part is impossible because of the lag. Now you're officially in a tribophobia world. And the tree with the open mouth is so disturbing lol. And now it becomes peaceful again. Overall, I think it is not that scary, but it's definitely disturbing. Man Man by 2003 Devin. Well, 2003 Devin is a compelling figure. I have no idea why he does what he does. It's controversial, but some say it's normal. Ah, that's for you to decide. His levels are straight up rated R and not available on public servers, and that's because Robtop is in love with the PG rating concept. Devin is a good creator with unique movements. He has a similar creating style as Xylanox, and all of the people that are over 18 plus can see this level. But you're looking at a blurred version. And here's the not safe for work part. Also, is that bloodbath reference? Also, this level is kind of like a tribophobia. Ah, please don't suck me, monsters. And yeah, I really like this level for some reason, even though it is NSFW. Well, it is kind of original, I would say, because I have not seen many other levels just do like, just do that. And that also makes incredibly disturbing. So props for that. Attempt zero. It's just a cursed level. It's just their madness, but made by a hacker. It is kind of disturbing because a hacker is kind of controlling you. And I got a blue screen. And now, uh, yeah, it just got destroyed. And remember, this was stereo madness. And the whole system just glitch. And also, we're not in attempt zero anymore. We're at attempt one. Yeah, I think we're dead. 
and the hacker is now following me. And the ending is kinda disturbing. Like, what the hell is that? And if you're definitely dead. I just want to say, it wasn't that scary at all. And disturbing was not that much. But the thing is, it's so unpredictable. It literally jump scares you whenever it can. Like, you will not predict it. That's why it is so scary. But now, for the part that everyone has been waiting for. What, what is the scariest scary jump scare level? level? You know what? I want you to experience this level. Good luck.
I hope you're gonna sleep tonight.